Hi, my name is uh, Mark Vidal. Um, I was involved in a subculture music scene back in the 80s called the punk rock scene. Uh, back then I was aliasly known as Earl Liberty. Um, I uh, got involved in music um, when I was 16 uh, through some friends of mine in high school. And uh, from there we started some garage bands and I was involved in a few garage bands, but um, I was invited to a punk rock show one time and um, really was taken back by the whole music scene. It was very aggressive, uh, very different. Never seen anything like it at that time. Um, I guess it was kind of like rap music back in the 80s um, or uh, I guess the late 80s, mid 80s, um, and that's the culture of music, but uh, for this type of music, this was back more like in the late 70s, early 80s. Um, I got involved in a couple of bands in the, in the punk rock scene. One was called Sacred Trust. And later I got involved with the Circle Jerks, um, probably a better known band uh, in that era. I was able to play and tour with them for a couple of years. Prior to that, I toured with the Sacro Trust with Black Flag, Misfits, um, uh, all kinds of bands from LA. It um, uh, was really a different and um, cool thing. You didn't really need to know how to play well. You just need to be able to put songs together and uh, put yourself out there. And that was kind of different. Um, back then, it was kind of an outlet for kids. I mean, back you know, in these days here, we've got so many different outlets with these electronic gadgets and video games and whatnot. But back then, you just kind of had to make your own way. And you know, there was one way of expressing yourself through the music in any way you can. And, um, it was fun while it lasted. Um, one of the things that I really appreciate about the fact that I went through that was I got to see the country. I got to meet a lot of people and, um, and I got to get a message out. Uh, I didn't really understand what I was involved in until, to be honest with you, until about a couple of years ago. And I really thought about what I was involved in uh, as far as the punk rock movement and that it was, it never, never seen anything like it. It was brand new and I was part of that and I really appreciate it. I've still got some friends who are involved in it right now to this day. Um, some of them have gone on to make really good careers. I, mean, I know some people from uh, Red Hot Chili Peppers and uh, Danzig uh, went on to move, uh, Glenn Danzig went on to move to create his own band. Um, some of the guys that I've known. Mike Watt is still playing to this day, and now he's playing with the Stooges. Um, you know, it's a lot of people stayed within that, that uh, culture. I decided to move on. Uh, ended up having a family, the girl behind the camera, my daughter, um, raised a family, and uh, just moved on with my life. But uh, it was great while it lasted, and I, I appreciate what I did.